Hi, today we're going to see how to create your own custom vector brushes. Let's go with it. So the intention of this tutorial is to quickly show you how you can create your vector brushes and also how you can create a bundle and export it. So you can pass it along for other users to take advantage of it. So let's start. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a new document. Command N, just give it the size you feel fits right on it. And you have to know that right now I'm going to be working with a tablet. So I'm going to be using a digital pen. It's not that you need it all the time. You can create your vector brushes without it but it's always better to have one because you have more control. So be aware that I'm using a digital tablet, okay? So as I said, first thing we're gonna want to do is create our canvas. And this is very important first step. You need to create your background color black. So we create here our background and after we have the black background, you have to know that the actual brush has to be white in such a way that the system understands that uh, it's a vector brush that you want to use in different colors. If you don't create it like this, it just won't work. I will show you later anyways. Okay, so next thing we have to create is the actual brush. We have several possibilities. We could come here to the pixel persona pick the brush and create something like this and turn this into a brush. Or we can also take the vector brush and create something like this, which is a ready-made, um, sorry, um, brush out of these categories I have in here. Affinity Designer comes with all these, uh, I think it's this four or three. And then I install my own ones and so you can just pick any of them and create your own brush. Let's just do something like this. It is already a nice um, brush. I'm just making it different. So I have something like a hairy brush I will use later like the ones I have in here, these last three or four, um, I created myself. Out of these ones that somebody else created and I installed in my software. Okay, so next step is going to be selecting the whole thing. Like this. Sorry, like this, okay. And now we come to the Arbor tool, click in there. Here where it says size, we're going to pick selection, okay? So we're going to create a canvas that is more or less the size of our brush. And we say insert artboard. We click in here, and as you can see here, now we have a canvas that fits more or less the, the size of the, of the brush we created or what we intended uh, to, to be the brush. Okay, so first of all, uh, we're going to export this. So we come here to file and we export. We have to pick PNG, okay? We don't touch any of the options we have in here, okay? We export. We're gonna call it Harry uh, Brush, something like this. Um, yeah. Hit a brush and we save it. And important now, I want to keep some order in my in my categories. So I'm going to create a new category, create a new category, and I'm going to rename it. And I'm gonna call it uh, something like mm, Heady brushes. Uh, Heady brushes. Okay. So now. If I create more than one, I'm going to just have them all together organized in this category. And I will show you later how to export them as a bundle so you can just uh, pass them along. 
So heavy brushes, uh, I already exported. Uh, the next thing we have to do is just import it. So import brushes, we come here and oh my God, oh, I cannot select it. Okay, I just forgot one thing, which is quite important. These vector brushes use this category, which is new texture intensity brush, okay? We have three of them. We have to pick this one. So we say we want that one and now we can pick it. So we select it and here we go. We have our heady brush. Now we're going to create a new canvas and we're going to test our brush. So we select it, we click on B to select the brush tool and we just go like this to different strokes over the canvas. I want to mention this new stabilizer tool that came with the new, the latest update, which is fantastic because it allows you to create your strokes in a much more smooth way. And as you can see here, well, I have some pretty nice kind of like a quiff, heady tail, call it whatever. But instead of having what I had before, let's just check the original ones, foot and hair. And I had, I think it was this one I selected. So I go like this, instead of just having that, now I have this, which is, I'd say, well, it has more threads to it in just one go. See here, see there. So I just increase the number of hair for each uh, chunk of, or each stroke, okay? So we have this now. I want to show you, I'm gonna select the whole thing and remove it from the canvas. I want you to see, um, yeah, I have them here. What it is that happens when you don't uh, use a black, and a black background and a white brush when you create your, your brushes. Okay, so this is the same brush. This one I created um, instead of black background, white uh, stroke, I did it all the way around. Okay, so well, coming back to the one we were using, I go like this, it's quite shitty, but for the example, it serves me well. Go like that, I can change the color, I can even, sorry, I can even click in here and say, well, I want it purple or whatever, no problem with the change of color, whereas, this one, it doesn't give me the, this possibility. So yeah, I can use it, it's the same brush. Different size though, but it's the same brush. So yeah, I can use it in, in black and white, but if I want to change the color of it, it's not gonna work. Let's say, take, pick this purple. So you can see it won't allow me to do a change of color, okay? So that's why it's so important to just do it, as I mentioned, with a black background and white um, stroke. Another thing I would like to talk about is how you can edit this brush, okay? So if you double click, you're gonna get presented with this um, dialogue. It has plenty of possibilities. I would just recommend you to explore it. See, you can make some changes to your brushes, of course, you have here the same options you have when you select the, the brush pen, uh, the, ooh, the brush tool in the toolbar, where you can just decide if uh, it works over pressure, velocity, all these things. They are also here. Changes in the in the way that the, the, the brush is gonna work basically, and also you can just say, okay, I'm gonna make it like this. And see what happens now. I am just saying this area is the one I want to be repeated and this area is going to be, this is going to be the, the tail of the brush, this is going to be the head, the beginning of the brush, but this area is going to be the one that is going to be repeated. Let's just use it as this and go like that and as you can see from here to there everything is smooth and the same but the beginning and the end of the brush, well, you can see it's not repeated. 
so it gives it a much nicer look again uh, I'm gonna use this stabilizer it's just fantastic it's a new feature and I love it because it allows me to you know work in a way that there's much more control on your strokes this is a nice heady brush we created here thank you to the original artist that created the foreign hair brushes and I used to create my own one so basically all these options you get to try and, and see what they do uh, for example this one is also interesting um, let's say I just put this like this now you're gonna see what is this feature doing okay so it repeats because I said I wanted it to be repeated. If I come back to stretch, yep, I just have one stroke, okay? And now the last thing I'm going to talk about is how to export your brushes. You can create your bundle and export it and just pass it along for all the people to use them. So let's just pick this sample. Um, we have these two just you can have as, as many as you as, as you want obviously so we can it's just pretty straightforward we can up here and we say sport brushes so we call them test bundle just to call it something we sport it now it's quite easy to import them <laughs> it's just import brushes so you come here you see the extension is um, AF brushes. I have some other uh, tests I did before. And now we have this dialog saying import brushes, brushes imported successfully, two vector brushes into brushes 2.2. Two, two. Okay, that's the name gave to the category and now I can change it. So this is the example I took. Okay, and now just imagine I'm someone else and I want to import them. I have this second category. Now I just have to Rename the category and call it Isabel, for example. Okay. And just the last thing I would like to say is that this tension you get when you sport, it's going to be, and this is in here, I have to monitor so I cannot show you. I'm going to just put it here and say it's test bundle AF brushes. That's the, 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 sorry, the extension. So again, I just drag and drop and I have a second category called again brushes 22 which is the same one i just renamed and that's basically basically it's quite easy so i hope you learned a lot or at least something uh, please subscribe and comment and like if you like this and i will see you soon bye bye